Hi, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. I'm so happy to have you, and let's just jump right in. Our trees keep dropping apples like crazy. They're not ready yet. So we gather those that have fallen and we use them for applesauce. <laughs> okay. See it. At first I thought it was a snake because I just saw the stripes on its body. It was watching me film and talk to a camera, so I think the thing that I thought I was crazy. They are definitely not ready yet, but they keep continuing to drop them. Two oh one. Oh wow, it was a lengthy one today. Uh, we had a lot of small odds and ends to do. What did we do? We put out our garlic to freeze chives and then the cabbage that is for sour sauerkraut tomorrow sauerkraut the top layers had to be removed it had to be washed it was a hectic day so i'm just going to I think my kefir is done unfortunately we'll see um i don't know i'm going to sit and relax a bit a bit what else do i have to, I, I don't have anything to do today oh i forgot i also wanted to make vegan cheese <laughs> oh shit I forgot to mention, we also canned peaches today. We freeze them, which is basically, you have your certain amount of peaches, you add your sugar water, and then into containers and into the freezer. And those get used for breakfast, mostly. But, of course, I had to put away skins for water kefir. A lot of our ladies and girls are into making kefir or ginger beer.
300 milliliters, one and a half cups, in case you were wondering. But anyways, today is Tuesday. It is four. <laughs> and if if you've been watching all the vlogs this summer, you know Tuesday is my pool day. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest. Um, I prefer to be in the pool instead of being outside. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, I think I should go because... I might be late and I can't leave my partner on her own. But yeah, anyways, I just, I'll see you later. And also, I found these shades at a garage sale for three bucks. I looked them up online. They were regular 64 and I never wear them. I don't know why. I think I have to take it. There's some, it takes some getting used to and you can see everything in here. It is currently 9.54. It's a little bit later than I would like it to be, but... There's nothing I can do about it, really. We are going to a different colony tomorrow to butcher the ducks. They raise them for us and we help butcher them. It's just the girls. Even if you're cooking, you have to go. The ladies step in and cook for us. It doesn't take us that long. Usually we're done around two. We have to get out tomorrow early. We have to be in the kitchen at 6.30 to eat breakfast so that we can leave at 7 o'clock so that we can be there and start butchering at 8 because it's an hour from our place. They are an hour from our place. Okay. And yeah, I think for now this is it, so... See you tomorrow morning, bright and early. Although I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be able to film. So filming in a different community is a little bit different for me and also I have to be respectful of them and their privacy. Good morning. It is a little past six and I'm ready to go. I got myself some kefir, of course, and my thermos for coffee. Coffee is going to be made in the kitchen, so. This. My boots. And I need an apron and gloves, so let's go. Oh. It is currently 12.51 or 6.22 as that clock is saying back there. But anyways, I just came out of the shower and we were done at... How many did we butcher? 700 and... I think 780 some. We finished with the cleaning right as the bell was ringing for lunch so yes it's been a first we've never finished that early and now we're gonna go find a good cup of coffee Okay, you are just evil. Ow! You know, we're gonna be eating with cactuses today. <laughs> oh 
I want to touch on something that I feel is very important. In my last video, my last vlog, somebody commented about why we will work on a Sunday. First of all, I think it's important that you know we don't really work on a Sunday. It's very rare. I have been on the workforce for 10 years now and this is the only time that it comes to mind that we have had to work on a Sunday. The person said something along the lines of the seventh day is of rest 24 hours in total. Disappointed to see you working on a Sunday. And they also continue to say God is not pleased when we disobey his commands and vlogging about it is not a good example. And I'm actually glad they brought it up because I'm sure more people are were wondering. But if you go in your Bible to Luke 14, God talks about this exactly. So basically it says Jesus was is talking to the Pharisees about healing a man on Sunday and they actually admonished him and he said to them which of you having a son or an ox that has fallen into a well on a Sabbath day will not immediately pull him out. So basically what he is saying if there is something that you must do then you must do it. He doesn't say never do anything. If it would not have been a must, we definitely would not have done it. Good morning. It is six o'clock on Thursday. I am getting ready to get out the door to leave for Winnipeg. The reason we got up at six to go to, go to Winnipeg is because it is quite far from our place. The other day, well, he's a great day. It's actually good. Let's change the pipe in the first thing. Okay, so the washroom is clean and I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Yesterday I managed to get my hands on some halva and it's been way too long. I absolutely love this stuff. I think it's most, it's, it's made of sesame seeds. That's the most that I know. It's like this. It's very good. My, my grandma used to have it and she would send us some. But there's this flavored chocolate most of the time. This one is sugar free. Yes. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Oh my. It is so good. But it is very rich. Would you look at that? She is so beautiful. This is actually just pure eggs. 
which I'm not mad about because I absolutely love eggs. Whoa, there we go. Bon appetit. A lot of people were wondering about our shawls and the bonnets that the girls wear. This is why and what it means. The young girls wear the bonnets or the mitts as we call it and the older girls and the ladies wear the shawls or the tiel as we call it. And basically the moms decide when their girls are ready to start wearing the shawl which is usually around the ages 12 to 13 when they start maturing. And the reason the girls wear the bonnet is because the shawl requires more upkeep and while the girls are younger it is easier for them to wear the bonnet. And also it's traditional for us. So yeah, that's basically it. The bonnet signifies that they are still children, they are young girls. The shawl signifies maturity and they start wearing it when they become a teenager and are ready to take on more responsibilities. And just now talking about shawls made me think back to the first time I started wearing one. I would have loved to have a picture, but I'm sure it was horrible. You know, everybody is always so curious and so eager to see what you look like in a shawl. I 